Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972N. Today, I am reviewing the Insignia NS-HD02 FMHD Pocket Radio. I bought this at Best Buy for $49.99 plus tax back around 2011 at least. That's what the manual said. It had a copyright of 2011. So, that year sounds about right on when I bought this radio. It is the second of three HD pocket radios that Insignia made. The HD01, followed by the HD02, and the HD01A. But today I'm going to focus on the HD02. And the dimensions are 2 and 1 16 of an inch in length, 2 and 3 quarters of an inch in height, and a depth of about 11 16 of an inch. And I'll give you a size comparison as well. First, the Insignia NS-HD01, which I reviewed previously. And I'll show you the Jensen SAB55A AM FM armband radio, which is a similar small size right here. And there we go. Now, uh, this radio uh, came with a mini USB cable to charge the internal lithium ion battery that was included in the radio. And I believe it also had the armband, but I don't think I have that anymore. But I do have mini USB cables around to charge this radio with. Now, here's what's on the radio itself. You have... Both the HD radio and Insignia logos, top and bottom. In between is your L your excuse me, touch screen right here. On this side, you have your volume up and down buttons. On this side, you have the power lock button and a headphone jack, which is in stereo and used for reception of this radio. Nothing on top. On the bottom, you have a mini USB jack to charge the internal battery. And then a reset button. Alright, I'll face up this way. There's a little hole there. If you put a pin in it, you can reset the radio whenever it malfunctions. So, uh, that's a good feature there. And on the back of the radio, a couple of pieces of rubber here. Probably to keep... The radio from slipping away. And uh, it have a uh, worn out label here. But it that label had the name of the radio. You know the company. Insignia. Also um, the power is 5 volts. And the battery is 3.7 volts. So that was the information on that. And that is what's on the radio. And... Uh, Next, I'm going to turn it on, but before I do that, I have to plug in an auxiliary input right here and connect it to a speaker source uh, to the side of me. Uh, I'm using the Grundig G3 Global Traveler radio as that external speaker. And I'm going to turn it on, but I'm not going to show you the sound yet. There's the HD logo here. And uh, the frequencies are 87.5 to 107.9 megahertz in 200 kilohertz steps. And I'll show you the buttons right here. The tuning buttons are right here. You seek down to the next strong station. 
uh, you can step down for the next frequency, and then you can go up again for the next available station, and then you can seek again to get to the next strong station. So that is it there. There's other menus. There's a preset menu right here. And what I'm going to do, I wanted to scroll up to 107.5 FM again. I press select, and it'll take you to that station directly. And then there is the live pause feature. I'll pause it right here. And I'll pause the broadcast. Um, that's a pretty neat feature. Um, now I'm going to turn the audio on. It's paused right now, so you're not going to hear anything. I have to either press the back button here. I can pause, and then I can play again. And then the forward button will forward you through that paused broad live broadcast. And uh, that's WBLS New York City, by the way. I just wanted to show you those features. Now, there's another set of features. There's a feature of functions. Uh, if you press this button, it'll take you through the guide. And... And you can scroll or go through the stations that are available. So if I want to select this station, HD2, I can select it and then I go to normal. And it should take me to HD2 station. And yes, it took me there. Now there is a song over here. If I press memo, it'll save that song. I've had two songs saved. You can save up to ten. And I'll show you. There's the artist up here. Above it is the callers, WBLS FM. The artist, the album, if applicable, the frequency, 107.5 megahertz, and I need your help, which is the name of the song. Now, if I want to go back to see what songs I saved. I can go to menu, which I didn't even show you the menu options. I'll go over those. But I'll just go to favorite song memo first. And I save two songs on there. Now if I want to delete a song memo, I can press this X and it's deleted. Now as far as the rest of the menu is concerned, you have your LCD display, which you can go up or down. I'm not going to change it, but uh, that's the backlight and the contrast. The backlight time, either always on, one minute. As a matter of fact, I think it could go down to five seconds. But actually, I'm going to pick always on. And then there's the seat type, either all or only HD stations. You can pick either one. I'm not going to change that. Get your favorite song memo again. Version. This is the version that is... The firmware of this radio. And then factory default. But I'm not going to say the back factory default. And uh, those are the features uh, right there. And I've already showed you uh, what the HD uh, radio looks like. So we don't need to go through those again. So right now I'm going to start the band scan. Starting with A7.7 WNYZLP New York City. WBGO Newark, New Jersey. And on HD2, it's the Jazz B, which is another jazz station. Within WBGO. We want to, it's called Half Twangy Guitar 
will travel. And I actually think it's one of the all-time great rock and roll albums, you know, still. Rebel Rebel and, uh, it's trying to lock in the HD, but for some reason I'm not getting it right now. They actually put the names of the of the backing musicians on the album, like the studio musicians. Yeah, they, All right. they, they talked about the, the, you know, the... T- yeah, their HD channels aren't functioning properly. They're supposed to be three HD channels. WKCR in New York City, that also has an HD channel, just the HD one only. WFUV, New York City, when you can't get an HD channel, even though WFUV does broadcast in HD, I have a lot of trouble getting it, though. But it's mostly... It's regular programming HD1 and then all music on HD2, which is, they play music when they, their regular format, when they air other programming on its main channel. But as far as this is concerned, uh, if you take a look, when there is RDS information radio data system, you can see the signal indicator here, FM, there's the radio data system here. Battery indicator, all seek. The frequency and station information when applicable, a log scale. That is when it's not on an HD channel. So, that is that. Now, this is WFMU East Orange. And uh, when there is no RDS information, you'll see the frequency right in the middle right here. WNYLFM, New York City, Alt 92.3 on HD1, New Arrivals on HD2, and Channel Q on HD3. And... Here's the HD icon right here, the HD icon, and then call letters, artist, album, frequency, song title, and album art if applicable. If there's no album art, you see the HD logo right here. Now I'll take you through the rest of the HD channels on that station. I get it. Your desk has been there for you. WPAT Pass in New Jersey, which is also in HD. WNYC FM New York City. They have uh, mostly talk programming on its HD1, although they're playing music, they play a few music shows. They simulcast WQXR 105.9 on HD2, and they simulcast WNYC AMA 20 on HD3. Here's a listen to those. Will it be my luck to win you? Where new writing can be found is in the thriving literary magazine scene. WNSH, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, they only have uh, one HD channel. WPLJ, New York City, uh, it airs K-Love on HD1, K-Love Classics on HD2, Air 1 on HD3, and The Bridge on HD4. Here's a listen. Air 1. 
Hi, Nahe. I'm Kara. Thank you for worshiping with us. And thank you for partnering with us as we have helped Convoy of Hope take care of those families who have been... Came up from the Jordan, notice verse 19, on the 10th day of the first month, which as it turns out, Y hazte la prueba hoy mismo. Un mensaje del Departamento de Salud de New Jersey. Atención a los consumidores que deben dinero de impuestos atrasado. WXNY FM New York City, La X96.3 on HD1. K Buena, 92.7 on HD2. And uh, two Russian channels on HD3 and HD4. Ah. Y es para cualquier que necesita ayuda para pagar su deuda tri... WQHT, New York City, Hot 97. They have an HD channel as well. WSKQ, New York City. That's also an HD. WEPN New York City, which is going to be awkward for Nick Foles if he does start the season. So I, I think either way, the Lions, by the way, an early favorite in the game on the 13th of September. Play, um, before I let you go by Frankie Beverly. Oh, that's my song right there, Maze. <laughs> WHTZ Newark, New Jersey, Z100. That's an HD. WCBS FM, New York City, with its uh, classic hits format in HD1. WCBS 880 on HD2 and CBS Sports Radio on HD3. For thousands of miles. You don't have 18 different companies handling it. Everybody's rookies, rookies, the rookies look great. Uh, they all look great in practice. They're all making big plays, specifically skill position players. Out of the penalty box, they, they're going to be in good WFAN FM right New York right. City. The minute, the minute, the thing I've noticed the most about this Islander team and about the way they're playing right now is that the minute the momentum changes in these games, they hang on to it for dear life. Also, in, in, in the white community as well. Coming up, Abby Johnson describes abortion before all of America. An unborn baby fighting back, desperate to move away from the suction. W272DX, New York City. Although the transmitter is only a couple miles away from me, they simulcast WMCA AM570, The Mission. The COVID-19 pandemic has done a lot to reveal the importance of the family. I try. WNEW, New York City, that is New York's new 102.7 on HD1, Smooth Jazz on HD2, and a simulcast of 1010 wins on HD3, and guess what, I have to reset the radio because it froze, so I'll be a moment there. It should be back to normal though, after I reset it. It'll take a few moments to reboot. Lately, I've had trouble with that. I've had to reset the radio on this frequency when this happens. But here it is. Uh, 
benefiting Food Bank for New York City during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's not too late to step up to the plate. Small, medium, and double extra large sizes are still available only at yankees.com slash food bank. WKTU New York City. 103.5 KTU on HD1, Pride Radio HD2, and The Breeze on HD3. WAXQ New York City Q1043 on HD1 and 710 WOR simulcast on HD2. He got, actually got 304 in the Electoral College, but he, had, he won states representing 306. He loses Michigan, takes him to 290. He loses Pennsylvania, it puts him at 270. He loses Wisconsin, he's at 260 and no longer president. He's got a huge fight with my wife. And she's like, but you're going to go laugh with Sebastian. <laughs> WWPRFM New York City, Power 105.1 on HD1 and Russian programming on HD2. Radio app. This is exciting. Or wherever you get your podcast. Hey, what up? Yeah. And Black Information Network on HD3. WQXR in Newark, New Jersey. Uh, They have classical music on HDs 1 and HD2. Over 65. Formed by Lisa Weilerstein and Enon Barneton. Preceded by Enon Barneton playing the Chopin C minor and E minor not. Okay, next time, great duos featuring Ernst Blum. Looks like the HD is not locking in on 105.9. Prokofiev, Sonata and C for two violins. Tchaikovsky's Memory of a... WLTW New York City 106.7 Light FM on HD1 and iHeart Radio Broadway on HD2. WBLS New York City. That is on HD1. And then on HD1, WBLS, on HD2, 1190 WLIB simulcast. Getting tested for COVID 19. When you go out, practice physical distancing. And that is all for the scan. Now, as far as reception is concerned, yeah, the Seek's a little funky, and that's, uh, it'll miss station sometimes. But, uh, when I used headphones, uh, it didn't do too bad. It had 53 stations, 51 licensed and two unlicensed, plus, uh, 44 signals were okay to good, and nine weak signals. So it does get those weaker stations, but... And also, the selectivity doesn't seem to be as good with the HD02 as the HD01. That has better selectivity. But overall, not a bad radio at all. I rarely use it these days because I actually like to use this one better, even though the screen's broken. But And it has a little better selectivity. The selectivity 
It's not bad, but it's not the greatest. So, probably my least favorite of the three. Uh, the HD-02 is my least favorite. But my favorite's the HD-01, followed by the HD-01A. And those are pretty much my final thoughts. Uh, it's a fun radio to have anyway, even though the selectivity may not be the greatest. But overall, I like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so you can get posted on more reviews and other radio-related content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good weekend, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.